starting route to Gretna Green. Head east on Blythe Lane. I'm getting so annoyed. I have got 10 miles left on my electric car charge and I can't, f well, no, no, I can find, I was going to say I can't find a charge point. I can, but none of them are working and I can't drive to like the next town because I don't think I've got enough miles to get to somewhere. Ah! I hate electric cars. I'm in Gretna Green, by the way. Oh, -hoo -hoo. this one was working before, but someone was using it. Hopefully now. I was under the impression that I could charge my car for free in Scotland. Oh goodness, why is it doing this? It did this last time. Oh, maybe it works on the app. This is doing my head in. Oh. I think it's working. Before we get into the video, I have a PSA. If you're thinking of getting an electric car, don't. They're sh The range is rubbish. It's a nightmare. Don't get one. I hate it. Anyway, now we're on charge. Welcome to Scotland. I was getting itchy feet back at home. I'm bored at home. I don't want to be at home after last week going to Anglesey. I just last minute decided to come up to Scotland. Part of that reason was I read that you can get free car charging in Scotland, like I just said. I haven't found any. I thought I found some, but I couldn't get it working. I'm not having a good, a good time with car charging. Anyway, I'm in Scotland. I'm in Gretna Green. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know where I'm going. Don't know how long I'm going to be here for. I had a lovely drive through the Lake District. Oh, the Lake District is so beautiful. Maybe I should have just gone to the Lake District. No, charging probably would have been a nightmare around the Lake District. Oh my goodness, I hate an electric car so bad. Why did I get one? Anyway, I'm not going to complain about it anymore. I'm in Gretna Green. It's just inside Scotland. Just driven through England. Just inside Scotland is Gretna Green. Gretna Green used to be, or it still is a place for weddings, but back in like the... I don't know, 17, 1700s, sometime around the 1700s. England made a law where if you were under 21, you had to have your parents' permission to get married, but Scotland didn't have that law. So lots of people from, young lovers from England would run up to Gretna Green and get married in Scotland because they were allowed to do it. And lots of people still come to Gretna Green to get married. I've just been driving around and I actually went into this hotel place where there was a wedding. I've seen about three weddings whilst I've been driving around <laughs> trying to find um, a car charging point. This car charging point is at Gretna Green's famous blacksmith's shop. So I think I'm going to go in, have a little look. I don't know what it is. Let's go and see while the car is charging for a little bit. To be honest, I could probably do with the car charging a lot, like full wall of love but it's got all padlocks it's like a is it pont nerve pont something in um paris what's a courtship maze oh, i'm on my own i assume one goes in there one goes in there and you have to find your way together i'm not going in i'll get lost i'll never find my way out change my mind i'm going in the car's charging, I've got to wait anyway. Gotta get up to that bridge. You know you've heard it all before, but you are the love of my life. I've been wandering for a while now. How do I get to this bloody bridge? And you and you can yes. through the door that you are the love of my life. I made it! I've got to find my way out. Yeah. Nothing's hard, everything is easy. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say that I feel that our love is real. Well, that was a nice little stop. 
I've just been looking on Zapmap, which is where you find electric chargers. I feel like I've been sold a lie about this whole free charging in Scotland. I'm going to drive on to a little town called Annan. If all else fails, I think there's chargers there. And if all else fails, there's a Tesco with a pop point. Good old pop point. How much charge did I get from that? Hour. 27%. 41 miles. I got like not very much. Oh. That'll do. It's getting late and I'll be dark soon and I've got 27 minutes drive to get to where I'm going to sleep for the night. Oh perfect, the rain is coming. I have zero luck with the weather and car comping. It's pouring down. I am going to, just in the back, I'm going to get set up with my um, window coverings and then I'll show you where I am if it doesn't get dark whilst I'm doing this. Mostly set up. This is my spot. I found it on park for night. This building here is toilets. Motorhomes and camper vans, welcome. Little honesty box there. So I'll put a little bit of uh, cash in there. Toilets aren't bad. Nice and clean. Every time I get in, I forget just how cramped it is. <laughs> I quickly realise you're in a car, not a van, Sarah. It's a tiny space. It's pouring down. I'm going to get my pyjamas on and just settle in for the night. I don't know what time it is. Maybe like seven or something. I've no idea where I'm going tomorrow. That's what I might do, actually. Have a little look around. Look on the map, see what's around. Doesn't open till 10. I don't know if I'm bothered about going in particularly, but how far away is it? Oh, it's only eight minutes drive. Wow, look at this place. Oh my goodness, there's water in its moat. I'd never seen a castle with water in its moat before last week when I visited Wales. And now I'm seeing another one. What a beautiful morning. I'm now going to head to Dumfries. I've just been looking on the map. It's about a 20 minute drive away, nine miles. I think there's a few like Robert Burns things there. If you don't know who Robert Burns was, he was a Scottish poet. And the Scottish celebrate Burns Night every, I think, is it like end of January? Like the 25th of January or something? If you're Scottish and I've got that wrong, please correct me. He wrote like Old Lang Syne, so I feel like seeing as I'm in the area, I should go and check out. I think like his house is there and maybe there's some other bits and pieces. I'm not quite sure, but let's head over that direction. Open my windows. I'm trying to have my windows open as much as possible whilst I'm driving, just to get a bit of airflow through the car so it doesn't start to stink. Burns' house. I'm too early for everything. Nothing opens till 10. It's only like half past eight. So, I'm just sitting in the car, doing a bit of editing, testing out my little, well not little, my battery thing that I've brought with me, see if that's good. 
to use my laptop whilst I'm car camping. First place of Peter Pan as well. Oh no, it's closed on Tuesdays. Hello. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old sign For old lang sign, my dear, for old lang sign. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of old lang syne. And here's a hand, my trusty friend. Well, there you go. That was Robert Burns' house. That was quite interesting, actually. I'm gonna head back to the car now and figure out where to go next. I don't really know, to be honest. We're off. I figured it out. It's very hilly around these parts, so I went on all trails and found a hike that I'm going to do. It says it's a hard hike. I don't know how strenuous. I don't know how... I don't know how much I'm feeling a hard hike today, to be honest. But we're going to give it a go. Okay. Oh, I was just driving to the hiking start point. And I just drove past this amazing abbey, so I had to stop. I think it's closed. There's scaffolding all over it. I think it's falling down. I want to go and explore. Oh, criffle. That's what I was thinking of doing. Four hours, very strenuous. I might have to change my mind on that. It's called Sweetheart Abbey. What a cute name. Which is really cute. I don't know why, it reminds me of like a little French village. I think possibly that might be Criffel. I'm not doing that, I've changed my mind. There's no way I've got the energy for that today. I gotta do some work. I just stupidly checked my emails on my phone and there's a few things that I need to do. So I've just parked up. It was somewhere where I'd contemplated staying overnight, but I can't. That took a little bit longer than I wanted it to <laughs> to get that work done, but it's done. And I was having a nice little walk. Second time. Oh, oh no! <laughs> You've got a black tongue. <laughs> what a wonderful, peaceful place this is. To get, it's like a dead end to get to it, like off the main road. So there's hardly anybody here, and it's just so peaceful. It's really lovely. I've just been looking at my map thinking where to go and I think I'm going to go totally off piste here and head back into England. The only problem is where I was thinking of going, oh, this electric charging, I hate it so much. It's just so difficult to do. The range is just rubbish. Like it says it's 206 miles, but it just doesn't get you 206 miles at all. And where I wanted to go, there's no, I've looked on the maps and there doesn't seem to be any charging points anywhere too close to it i don't want to go there and like run out of charge oh, i hate having an electric car why did i get one 
I'm going to head down. Hopefully find a charging point on the way where I can top up. I need my van back. As much like, no, I don't. It's not that I need my van back. I need a petrol car. I have found somewhere. I'm going to, what is it? An hour and a half's drive away. And then I can charge up a little bit here and then hopefully continue to where I want to go. I'm glad I didn't go up there. Look how low the clouds are now. I'd have been stuck up in the clouds. Although it might have been pretty. Although it might have been dangerous as well. I went the wrong way. And I've been sat in stupid traffic for ages. And all I want to do is loop around this roundabout and go back. That's why are the HGVs? There's so many. No joke, it's taken me 20 minutes to get around this roundabout. Yay! Done it! Wow. That was. It, it wasn't that I went the wrong way, I tell a lie. It was all because of a the next stupid electric the charger. Take the first exit. Okay, I will. An electric charger that said it was there that wasn't there. <gasps> I bloody hope that this charge point that I've headed to on the map is actually there because I am running low. Arrived. It, it's a Tesco. It should be okay. These are the only ones I've had any. Oh, I see it. A pod point. <laughs> I've really cocked this up. Or, well, I haven't cocked it up. It's electric charging point's fault. Because that other charging point wasn't working. Or well, I couldn't find it. It wasn't it wasn't working, I couldn't find it. The one that I then found that I'm at now is only a seven it's a slow charger, so I've got to sit here for like three hours. It's nearly dark. But I've driven too far south. <laughs> the place that I was gonna go is like half an hour back up north. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know whether this is just charge enough to just literally go home <laughs> oh and i can just fully charge at home overnight oh my goodness this is a nightmare i think this is what happens i was just whilst i've been sitting here looking at like, the charging points map and things that i've got and the area that i went to just really didn't have very many charge points so it, it just didn't work I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just sitting there for a bit longer on my iPad, just waiting. And we'll see. See when I've got like enough charge. I might drive to Morecambe and just have a night by Morecambe. I'm annoyed, I'm just, I'm just irritated now. <laughs> I kind of just want to go, I don't want to go home really though. I'm just irritated by the whole thing. I don't know how long I was sitting there, but that feels like it just wasn't worth it. 50 miles. As you can see, it's getting dark now though, so I kind of want to move on either to Morecambe or just to go home. I'm gonna head to Morecambe and see if I can find somewhere. Luckily, it's only like four miles away, so that's okay. I think this spot might work, you know. I'm going to quickly put my stuff, uh, like the window stuff, up on the car. All done. I'm just going to drive a little bit further down there, away from the centre of Morecambe, so it's not quite as busy, hopefully, anyway. It's quite a busy road. It's on the main coastal road. I'm pretty sure it'll quieten off in a little bit. It's about seven now. And also, I don't need to wear a coat. It's warm. There's no toilets nearby here. That's fine though. And um, and we'll figure out the charging tomorrow. That's a problem for another day. I feel like I've been sat charging the car all day. Good morning. It's about six o'clock. I'm just getting up for a little walk. 
words, it's not very nice. I just gotta gather up all my rubbish. I've made a bit of a mess. I don't think I slept very well last night. I feel like I remember waking up loads and loads. Oh, anyway, I think what I'm gonna do is enjoy this lovely walk. Right, by the water, I can smell it. I smell the water. I know the water is like really quite far out right now. Have a nice walk. It's busy for like six o'clock, this road. <coughs> I think that woke me up a little bit as well. Cars going across by the road because obviously it's like the main coastal road. But I'm gonna have this walk and I'm gonna go and find somewhere to charge this bloody car because it just weighs on my mind that I need charge and stuff so I'd rather just get it done so I can then forget about it. Get the car charged a little bit and then I don't know what, possibly just come back down here and have a little mooch on around the beach or whatever. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go home today though. I've just been looking, there's a pub near here that apparently has a charge point. I'm gonna go and see if it works. I've had no luck with anything other than pub point charges, but we'll go and see if this one works. No, I need a charge point app. Oh no, or my debit card, maybe. <gasps> yes. It's working. Perfect. That'll do, I reckon. This day is miserable. It's just dreary, spissy, horrible rain. Let me check the weather. What's gonna happen today? Really, for this kind of thing, you need to do it in summer. Oh, it says it's gonna stop raining at 11. It's quarter to eight. You need the nice weather because you don't, you're not living in your car. You're like living out of your car you're just sleeping in your car and then being out and about this doesn't work i'm gonna hang around here for a bit even though it's a little dull and miserable <laughs> i'm gonna hang around have a nice little walk along the beach here and i think i'm gonna end this one here this one i would say has been definitely a learning experience in terms of the electric car that's been the big takeaway i think i need to plan more in terms of the electric i don't know <sighs> I don't like planning things, I like doing things a bit more spontaneously, but having an electric car doesn't really give me that, so... Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next. Bye!